and we're going to enter the time on our side to see how this would all work out. So I'm going to hit the plus button up top and we're going to enter the weekly time. So again, we could have the employees do this or we could do it uh, based on Excel sheets that they give us or something that records their weekly time. However, we have the system set up. So we're going to go into the time sheets and then we're going to enter the detail on the time sheet. So I'm going to set the date range. Let's set the date range. I'm going to go to the like the last week in the year in the first month that we're in, which is 122, uh, 23 to, to 128. So it's all in uh, 2020. Uh, the first month in January. Okay, so then, then we'll set the details up top. Choose a customer so or job. So if the time was done for a customer, meaning I'm going to use this information in order to pull it in to an invoice, then we're going to need the customer or job. Now we set up a job, which was 3005, one of the jobs we set up. So I'm going to use that job, which is, which is connected to the customer of Jones Guitars that we set up in a prior presentation. And if you're using a job cost system, that might be the case. For example, if you're a bookkeeping firm, you might have Jones as your client and then you're doing tax work for them or something like that. You might set up a separate job or separate project. If you're a law firm, you might have a client that you do multiple uh, jobs for that you're setting up the jobs separately in. Okay, choose the service uh, that was worked on. So here's where you have the option of saying, do I want to pick uh, an item and bill out. So I'm, I'm choosing my items now. Do I want to bill out on just an hourly rate? Meaning maybe I just have an hourly rate for this particular employee, which if I hit the drop down, I should be tracking. Let's start with Adam. We're gonna have Adam that we're billing out for. So maybe I just make another item here, which will be Adam's hourly rate. So for whatever Adam did, or I might try to bill out Adam's time based on what Adam did. Like if he did a diagnostic, then I might just have the, the items at an hourly rate in this case, because I'm tracking time based on what Adam did. So am I, am I going to make my items based on Adam's time alone or based on what Adam did in terms of the rates? Let's make a new, a new one here and I'm going to make it a service item and I'm going to just call it Adam. Hamilton time. And this is just going to be the time I charge for him. I'm probably not spelling Hamilton right, but whatever. And then we're going to put this, I won't put a category and then description. And let's just say it's a hundred dollars, hundred dollars that we're going to bill for Adam. And then the question is, do we want to just put it into services or some other account? I'll just keep it in services for taxes because it's a service item. I'm going to say it's non-taxable for sales tax, non-taxable item, and we don't have any purchases. So I'm going to save that looks good. And then is it going to be billable? Yes. That's the point. I'm going to say it's billable. It's pulling in the $100. It's not taxable. So that looks good. Now I'm going to say on the time, let's say it was Friday, eight hours that he worked on this job on Friday. Now note that if, if you, you were entering time for the entire week and you were Adam entering the time or you entering the time for Adam, then I could, if, if I had the same job that he worked on for multiple days, I could put another eight here, another eight here or whatever he worked on that particular job for, for multiple days. But if you worked on a different job, that's of course when I'm going to need, you know, another line item. So down here, I'm going to pick another line item. And this time I'm going to try to pick the project. So in a prior presentation, we were looking at the differences between making a job, which is a, a sub customer is what it's called in online, a job in the desktop version. Now we're going to look at the project which is similar to a job, but that's the newer kind of thing that helps us track in a project format. So I'm going to pick Sam the Guitar Man, but this time a project. Once again, it's a project which is kind of subordinate in a similar way as the sub customer or jobs to Sam the Guitar Man, who, who is in essence who we're going to be billing for the actual customer. Now this is going to be this is going to be also Adam's time. That's going to be the item that we're going to use. It is going to be billable, so it's going to pull over to that customer. And then I'm going to put this on 
Saturday. So there's there's the idea, there's the total timesheet. This is all I'm gonna enter for the, their time. But you can see the idea here. You can enter a timesheet weekly and you can just populate this again, one one line if you work the same job for multiple lines. Every time you have another job, then of course you're gonna need another line in order to enter the other job. This then could be used to pull over to the payroll but we're really focused in on now pulling this over to billing it, creating an invoice for this job for Jones Guitars, the client customer, and then this project for Sam, the guitar man. So let's go ahead and record it. So down below, you've got cancel, you've got copy last timesheet. If you can use that as a start and you could save it. And then the option save and new or save and close. I'm gonna to go to the save and close.